one. Piyush Malik, welcome to the Data Strategy Show. It's a pleasure to have you on 66 Questions, Data Leaders Unplugged. Piyush, how are you today? Wonderful, Samir. Thanks for having me. I've been waiting for talking to you for quite some time now. <laughs> yeah, we have. And happy Diwali. Happy Diwali as yes. well. Yeah, what, what a great day to have this on. Yes. And a mm. great day of what we saw on cricket uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yep. What yep. what we saw today, uh, the news coming from UK as well. Yeah, so well. For it's a great, great news. It, it certainly is. They, I think they did it just for this day, didn't they? So, um, Fireworks no, all around. <laughs> exactly. And satellites exactly. Uh, as well. Yes. We saw about 36 satellites uh, were uh, thrown into space by ISRO. So great events. Perfect. Science, sports, politics. Yep. India yep. all over. I I think you know. Well, well, well. Let's wait and see what happens now. <laughs> that's what I'm. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, thinking about. Okay, Piyush, We've got sixty six questions. You know the format. Rapid fire. So let's start. Piyush, What's your wake up ritual? I wake up in the morning and uh, close my eyes for a couple of minutes. Um, thank God for what I have. And uh, uh, then I start my day by looking at my phone and, uh, you know, all the messages and all the, all that. So yep. catching uh, up with life. Go, go typically drink um, hot water. Yeah. That's, that's my regimen. <clears throat> Wonderful. What would you say is your biggest strength? Uh, being able to connect with people from all over and uh, uh, being able to empathize with mm -hmm. my people, um, my leadership, as well as uh, people who I work with. And that, I believe, uh, is has what contributed to uh, where I am right now. Great. I love that. Uh, what's the biggest learning experience you've had? Uh, the learning experience has been, uh, I would say, especially when uh, I failed at certain things, uh, that not to give up mm -hmm. uh, and not to, despite all odds and uh, despite things uh, not going well, um, I, I would, and this is repeated over my life, uh, right when I was uh, less than uh, 10 years old, uh, whether it happened in sports or whether it happened when I was 16 uh, or whether it happened in, during my career. So it's, it's uh, not to give up uh, mm -hmm. and again, keep trying again. Yeah, before. yeah, I like that. Never give up, keep trying. Always the, the best thing to do. Um, are there any hobbies you will never give up? Hobbies. Uh, well, uh, I would not want to give up uh, uh, doodling and, uh, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> something I, I don't consider it as a hobby. But uh, back in those days, I used to be doing uh, drawing and painting uh -huh. and I was very fond of them. I've given up painting, but oh. at least I sketch uh, through doodles. And yep. that's what yep. In unconsciously when I'm in meetings which are going on and uh, are not contributing, I would yes. just do and uh, well maybe you should my kids make make fun of me on that. Oh do they? You should put a book book together of your doodles. Remember you can <laughs> you, you can cast it back to every single meeting and you can relate to you know you can write the story of why you did this doodle in that meeting. Uh, just don't send it to those people who are in the meetings though. <laughs> <laughs> so so Peach, what, suggestion. yeah what makes you angry? Ah, uh, what makes me angry is when uh, people commit to doing things and uh, they don't do it and they don't even communicate mm -hmm. uh, that where they are with that. And I have to follow up and that, whether it happens in my nonprofit activities or whether it happens in my work life mm -hmm. or in personal life. And whenever that happens, it literally uh, th throws me off. Okay. Okay. Do you have a first memory of life? Yeah, uh, I have a very good memory of uh, um, uh, of, of uh, visiting uh, a steel plant a colony mm -hmm. where my birthday was celebrated. I must have been less than uh, three years. Wow. But I vividly remember the greenery around the um, sound of rain falling mm -hmm. and uh, and and the smell when the first rains fall, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you could call that as a monsoon season. But yeah, this was yeah. Bilai, yeah. Um, Bilai steel plant uh, long yeah. back where I had visited my okay. uncle. Okay, wonderful. That is a beautiful image and picture. Definitely. What what are you most excited about these days? 
oh, I'm excited about the possibility that uh, the field that I'm in, uh, data and uh, AI and uh, applied uh, sciences, I'm very excited about the possibility of science taking us beyond what we can imagine today. Mm -hmm. And whatever mm -hmm. I believe, whatever we are seeing today is a byproduct of what some imagineers mm -hmm. uh, had in their mind and the science fiction through movies or through yeah. books. And that's come to life through yeah. product, you know, yeah. um, Scotty, beat me up, uh, <laughs> like that, right? And now we have a watch that can listen. We have smartphones that do things. So I am bullish. I'm, I'm very yeah. excited about what's going to come. Um, I do like future. that, and I do like the word imagineer. Um, that's a that's great a word. Disney's world, uh, yeah. word actually. Yeah. yeah. And I first heard that word when I went to Disney uh, in Florida. At Disneyland, and uh, I said, well, what is this word? Mm -hmm. And then I read about it, and of course, mm -hmm. Disney was a client of mine as well at that time. So, anyways, yeah, wonderful. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my daughter about that. Yeah. Um, what's the best compliment you've ever received? I usually get brick bats, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, they've been, they've been. Um, mentees of mine who mm -hmm. uh, come back and thank me for helping them with their career situation mm -hmm. and i've been uh you know that's that that's i would say you know that the they best have wanted yeah. to uh they learned certain things from me and uh, you know i i, I smile mm -hmm. wonderful what's a cause that is important to you oh again uh youth empowerment is something that mm -hmm. i've been focused on for the mm -hmm. last 10 years mm -hmm. uh through a variety of organizations, but more importantly, American Society of Engineers of Indian Origin. Fantastic. Um, the organization that I lead. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Um, do you have a secret talent? Uh, pardon me? Do you have a secret talent? <laughs> um, uh, I wouldn't call that a talent. I think I dabble <laughs> in percussion music. Uh, I play djembe. Um, Okay, well, and, and what's... African drum. Oh, fantastic. Okay, okay. And and that's with your hands, is it? Yeah, it's a uh -huh. percussion. So, so back in my childhood days, I yeah. learned an uh, uh, instrument called bongo, which is... Uh -huh. Yeah, I know the bongo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, yeah. many fast forward uh, 40 years, uh, very recently, um, I just got myself for my birthday a djembe, um and uh, said okay let, wonderful let me at it. so i my family knows about it uh, from the <laughs> spiritual, uh, but i'm because i can't practice it it makes noise um, yes yes around yeah so i just practice it during some you know cultural ga gatherings right so all, right all cultural gatherings. okay that's, it. that's good um if you weren't doing what you were doing now what would you be doing Either I would be teaching or I would be just traveling and like a nomadic life. Wow. Wow. What are the three things you can't live without? I can't live without uh, these days, um, without my phone, my mm -hmm. spectacles, because mm -hmm. I can't even hear anything without, uh, without these spectacles, it seems like. And uh, of course, chai. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm drinking right now. Chai. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you were to be a fictional character, who would you want it to be? Fictional character. Fictional character. Fictional Somebody character. from a book. Someone. Oh, okay. Huh. Never thought of uh, uh, that. Hmm. 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 Huh. Fictional. Fictional. Well, you know, uh, I don't know if you ever read um, when growing up, uh, there was a comics called uh, Richie Rich. I, uh, I I've heard of it, but I I didn't read it. So okay. So so that that boy who the rich boy who had everything. Everything. Yeah. And he was very uh, nice and decent and maybe <laughs> that okay. One. So that's the fictional I, I'm character. I'm thinking about it uh, yeah. uh, randomly after fifty years. <laughs> I would say I must have uh, read that uh, fifty yeah. years ago. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, look, I've sparked something, a, a, yeah. a vivid memory. Um. Right, where were we? Yes. Um, what was the last show that you binged watched? Uh, okay, so there was something on uh, 
uh, regarding uh, on Netflix, there was something about phishing. Uh, mm -hmm. um, not fishing, fishing, but uh, security and privacy. I see. Okay, so, cyber, so, cyber security, right? Cyber security. There's yeah. a show called Jamtara. Uh, okay, which, never uh, heard of once it. Once I started watching it, I watched uh, all um, you know eight episodes in one sitting. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. Uh, it was. It was that enthralling. It was it that. Was, it was. Really? Wow. Actually, a story how people are conned and how. Oh, villagers, I see. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, uneducated yeah. folks mm -hmm. drawing all kind of jugards. Uh, were trying to fish information, so you know I treated that it, it with with intrigue, mm. as well as a little bit uh, int interested Intr in yeah. security yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to great. Just yeah. happened that. Yeah. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Ah, oh, adventurous thing. <laughs> I would say, short of uh, bungee jumping, there was a, a zip lining uh, oh, that yeah. happened. In, uh, uh, in in the rainforest of uh, Brazil, Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. near Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. uh, I would say I was very scared because right. uh, it, it was very high, and yep. then I was scared for losing my spectacles. Oh, your spectacles! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so were so, you holding them like this for dear life? No, I I took them off. I put them in the locker. Yeah. And uh, a lot of times I couldn't even see where I was going, but ah. you know, at least the feeling was good. And yes. As long as, because my flight uh, back to San Francisco was in six hours, and I had a few hours in the morning. Uh -huh. So I said, let's best use of the situation, make it, <laughs> make, make the best of it. And I went along with colleagues, uh, two oh, colleagues, wow. and uh, did that. Yeah. Uh, it was an adventure, I would say. Wonderful. Uh, I normally wouldn't have done it uh, in that in an, an adventure where you can't. Yeah, an adventure where you can't see much. That must be quite uh, uh, heroic of you, just just feeling all of that uh, stuff on your face. But it's good. Um, so, so the next time I had that opportunity yeah. was Hawaii just last year. At that time, I made sure I had to oh, you had the... tie, tie yeah. my spectacles on so that I could really enjoy. And it was not that scary. Trust right. Me. Uh, right. And it was not that high either. Yes. So yes. It, was good. it good, was good. Good, good. How would you define yourself in three words? Curious, inquisitive, and uh, thoughtful about the environment and society. Wonderful. What's the biggest surprise you've had this year? Uh, biggest surprise. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, going to a, a client uh, a meeting and uh, uh, they recognizing me for the work that I had done with a prior company. Okay. Uh, that, was, that was a surprise. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. And then Innovation Award, I was not expecting that. So th that was a pleasant surprise. Brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. I is there anything that is currently inspiring you in the data world right now? The talk about the modern data stack is, of course, intriguing. Mm. Uh, but what uh, is inspiring is to see the concepts that uh, got me into the data field, um, data warehousing, and mm -hmm. all that thirty plus years ago, being constantly churned. So, yes. Um, yes. I want to see how the computing, the modern uh, power of cloud and computing and AI can make the lives of all of us better through data. So that's what's mm -hmm. inspiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? One mentor of mine uh, always used to say, you should always raise your hand to volunteer mm -hmm. to, for things. And mm -hmm. I kept that advice hard. I'm not, and, and I started actually volunteering for nonprofits as well as within my organization. I was sure. Using, that uh, people would think twice about it. Oh, fine, I'll, I'll just volunteer You'll myself. Do it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You, know, you never know what serendipity brings in those situations. And I've Correct. been the, at the benefiting and more than I've I've lost um, yeah. by raising my hand. So mm -hmm. I would say no, I no, I, I agree with you. I agree with you on that as well. Do you remember the moment your career completely changed? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> it uh, it happened when uh, uh, I was pivoting from uh, uh, telecom product management into software development. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. What... I, I remember very clearly. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, within two years of uh, being a telecom engineer and uh, a wanting to change my city, I changed the jobs and uh, uh, all of a sudden uh, I got into an industry where I had never coded before for in my profession. I coded in college mm-hmm. and then here I was required to code. And uh, uh, so that that was a pivotal mom- moment. And uh, I and, and, and was it... Was it something you, because you were moving you wanted to do or was it something you said, I just need to get, you know, do something new? What was it? Or was it, it a combination of? A, I was, I wanted to change locations. Right. Uh, and it was a company that um, I always wanted to go ah, to. I mean, right. okay. um, I, I was working for Tata's, not a yeah. bad company to work for, yeah, yeah. but location, I wanted to come back to Delhi. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, you know, for my parents, um, was missing my home, so I said, "Okay, yeah, uh, we go there." Uh, but it completely changed the kind of things that I was doing in my day-to-day life. Amazing, uh, from mm-hmm. telecom, yeah. work management yeah. to uh, software development. So yeah. that was a pivotal moment, and I've wow. had two more pivotal moments after that as well. Great, so I'm changing. Things. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a, a, a good thing to do. I think many people should change. If you heard about my career, God, my goodness, you'd think I was mad. What makes you feel accomplished? I still don't feel accomplished. There's a lot, no? lot to do. Ah, okay. Do. What three words describe living in the US? Convenience, freedom, and clean air. Okay. Um, I'm sure I know the answer to this one, but optimist or pessimist? Well, it's situational. Okay, that's good. No one's actually said I've, that. I've been yeah. known to be a pessimist. Yes. I've been known yes. to be averse. Yes. And uh, at times I've been uh, able to take um, risks as well. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. But those are calculated risks. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. So, so, the, so, whatever the context is, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna look at it and 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 analyze it. What's heavily played on your music playlist right now? Oh, nineties um, Hindi songs. Okay. What's your favorite one? Um, uh, there's something from, from Kumar Shanu. I don't know if uh-huh. you know the name. I don't. I, I don't. But I just want to know because I always like to go and then listen to that. <laughs> so Ashiki one was a movie. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Which came and uh, so so it it's, it randomly came because it, it uh, I just listened to it yesterday night. So I wouldn't say it's on my regular playlist. Right, right. But I have these devices that keep on listening to me, and when I say play um, Alexa, play music, they yes. will they, they just... randomly create something. <laughs> so I love that serendipity in music as well. Wonderful. What are three things at the top of your bucket list? <laughs> Um, I would want to travel to a place that I've never been, ANZ, um, mm-hmm. Australia, New Zealand, um, and a couple of other places uh, as well, South Africa, mm-hmm. yesterday, mm-hmm. and I'm jealous. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, I would say, I want to do something, uh, something big. Yeah, something. yeah, perfect. Do you have a guilty pleasure? Yeah, uh, eating eating uh, uh, salty stuff. Aha, uh-huh. okay. Um, what book did you most recently finish? I always have three or four books going currently, mm-hmm. uh, concurrently. Um, but um, uh, the complete finished book uh, was, uh, uh, there's a book by <clears throat> former CTO of uh, IBM, uh, Nick D'Onofrio, uh, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Okay, and, that's an uh, interesting I'm so one. I'm inspired. Uh, I typically don't complete books. I read six yes. and leave them. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and and that was the one book. N- not only did I read, I wrote a Amazon review, and I also did a review in my blog. Um, oh, wow. First ever book review. So I was impressed. Part of it is personal story uh, that... Uh, inspired me to stay on at IBM uh, as well. I see. I met okay. Him the okay. Day I met him, uh, in between okay. My interesting. I, I will, I will look that book up. Yeah. Uh, you should see my blog on that. I will, I will have a look at it. Yeah. 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 If you could go back in time, what would you tell your 16 year old self? At 16 year old, maybe I was in high school and very, very focused on getting, um, 
grades so that I could get into a career. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the career choice was engineering, but I was always worried about grades. And I, mm -hmm. if I was given advice, never be focused on day-to-day -day grades and uh, have a learning mindset, yes. not a scoring mindset. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Because I may have made some um, blunders yeah. with the scoring mindset by uh -huh. doing things uh, and not actually internalizing those mm -hmm. learnings. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. No, no, true, true. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? For a day, uh, I would, I would want to understand. What happened uh, during partition mm -hmm. and caused so much um, pain? Mm. So I would say with Mahatma Gandhi, mm. and I would want to mm. see what he was going through. Mm. And mm. Uh, I know there were a lot of leaders around him, B R yes. around him, yeah. uh, who I recently learned about how brilliant he was, despite mm -hmm. the Don Trouton uh, person uh, atrocities against him, and then Jawaharlal Nehru. I, mean, I am enamored by history these days. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's a, it's it would be an interesting view, definitely, because we get so yeah. many conflicting views of it. Yeah. Um, what's one thing you've always wanted to try but just haven't got around to it? Hmm. Ah. Uh, I don't think I have no? anything, any desires left. Okay. All right. If you had to change something in the world right now, what would it be? I would want uh, peace in the world. Mm -hmm. I would want all the conflicts that are happening because mm. uh, inequality in the world, what we're seeing in Iran um, again against women and uh, a lot of places it happens. Uh, and even in India today, um, mm -hmm. a lot of things um, happen against uh, uh, certain sections of the society and women. I, I would, I would basically want a human to human kind of a uh, mindset and everybody should realize that life is short mm. we are mm. not gonna take the physical possessions or the materialistic things to the other world yeah. so yep. why fight over it why have ego yep yep true absolutely true now i think the question that you answered earlier may be the choice that you're going to come up with but let's just test it if you could resurrect one person from history and put them in the world today who would it be yeah, I think you could uh, link yeah. words, Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> okay. Inspired. Yep. Do you have a favorite exercise? I do yoga sometimes. Uh -huh. and within yoga, there are certain poses uh, that, that one does. Uh, so, sun salutation. Is, oh, yes. Is... I know it. I do yoga. Yep. What's the one thing you wish you knew at the age of 19? At the age of 19, I wish I knew how connecting the dots works mm. uh, backward. <laughs> yeah. I was so anxious. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't believe uh, I was missing classes in order to be able to appear for interviews with companies that uh, required face-to-face -face interviews, full-day yes. interviews, and yes. I would miss college because I wanted to land the job yeah. fastest even before the companies came to the college. So wow. I landed, by the way. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Uh, but but I was very anxious at that time because yeah. of the uh, situations. Uh, yeah. I just didn't want to let my parents down. Of course, of course. So if you weren't living in the US today, where would you be living? I would definitely be living in India. Actually, I never wanted to move out of India. Oh, that really? Was, um, me and my wife got married. Yeah. None of us wanted to leave India. And so what and, happened? Well, you know, uh, stock market uh, went down. Oh, and, I've okay. had my trust with the money and mm -hmm. uh, put all my savings or my earnings actually. I was yeah. living with parents and no expenses and all that in stock market and totally. Oh, by wow. Price. And it totally and then crashed. I, I, oh, had my my, I got married, had a daughter. I said, well, now I've got to look for, and I had opportunities to go to Switzerland on uh, mm -hmm. assignment. I said mm -hmm. no to um, Middle East on assignment. Yep. I said no to. And then a lot of opportunities came for US as well. I said, no, I don't want to leave. But then when everything combined and yep. uh, you have a daughter, you, mm -hmm. I said, all right, now I have a family to take care of. Let's yep. be serious. 
Let's you go. you got to go and do your, well. You yeah. got to go and do what you got to do, right? That's yeah. that's how yeah. it is. That's true. Um, if you could offer one piece of advice to upcoming data leaders, what would it be? I would ask all the data leaders to not complicate mm. the matters for their teams, uh, because data leaders deal with not only their teams, but they also deal with the business stakeholders and uh, the C level uh, folks of the company would want them to make it easy for the CEO to understand the value of data mm -hmm. and spread data literacy throughout the company. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And and take the industry forward mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. rather than creating FUD. Yep. Yep. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Hawaii. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? Ah, um, I've wanted to uh, be in Mel Melbourne yesterday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for for not only oh, for the cricket, but for uh, for um, I've been I've longed to go to Australia and uh, uh, regret the chance that I got invited to speak at a conference there, and uh, I just uh, said it's too far. It's too far. There's yeah, too many conflicting yeah. things happening at work. Oh boy, so I just sent somebody else there. So uh, yeah. It's on your bucket list, so you know, no it doubt is. you'll get there. What's the best lesson your parents ever taught you? My parents, both my mom and dad, uh, have always uh, told me to be kind and mm -hmm. uh, uh, be considerate of others. Mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. Think before you speak something, what, how it would impact the others, because words can't be taken back. Yeah, great advice. What's your favorite food? I love uh, Indian food. Uh -huh. uh, masala dosa. I don't know. Oh, you know. yes. Masala dosa. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 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 I love dosa. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, an aunt who made fantastic dosas when I was growing up. Amazing. Yeah. Coming from the north, we have kulche and but whatever chola cultures. And yes. All that. Yeah. But, but that's one thing which I or my family can't make well at home. Correct. So we'll places where you can get <laughs> that's exactly how we are we were so disappointed it um uh just we we got back from our summer holiday and and my daughter wanted to have uh, dosa mm. um uh, or she wanted to have indian food and we didn't want to cook so my you know we, we said let's go to a place and the normal place we, we were supposed to go to was closed we went to a place closer to where we live we were so disappointed it was so bad that i said don't worry we'll go to the you know wh wh when next weekend we'll do that and, and we did it was just wonderful anyway i can even taste it in my mouth right now um <laughs> You're what's, a foodie too. yeah i am yeah do you have a favorite podcast uh a16z a16z my goodness what's that um, you just got to tell uh, Alexa. Uh, okay. To to All right. I'll... The, so, um, Anderson uh, Horowitz, uh, basically. Oh, for... I see Anderson Horowitz. Ah, okay, fine, fine. I got it. I got it. it How do... by Anderson Z. So. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. How do you relax? Meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, I close my eyes and uh, sometimes uh, listen to soft music or guided med meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. uh, I do that uh, actually, you know, deep breathing as well sometimes uh, yeah. before meetings. Uh, uh, today I I skipped on that routine, um, but yeah, sometimes well, I, this I is that. this is this is a fun meeting. This isn't one of those <laughs> meetings. <laughs> What's a movie that made you cry? Movie that made me cry. Oh. <laughs> Is there a movie called Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum? Yes, uh, with, yes, uh, there is. There is the, there is this movie called Bhagwan with Amitabh Bachchan. I haven't seen that. That, that definitely yeah. I remember watching multiple times. That also right. made me cry. Okay, okay. Um, who would you say is your biggest inspiration? Professionally, I have been inspired by somebody who hired me. 20 plus years ago, mm -hmm. Mike Shrek. Um, Mike who? He, Michael Shrek. Oh, Michael he Shrek. Was, he was the leader of uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers um, uh, data warehousing practice. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He's been a mentor since that day. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so he, he's definitely uh, on the professional side. And uh, my mother. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful. 
right now, if you can, I don't know whether you can because you've got this uh, uh, a background up. What can you see from your window? I can see from my window mountains, oh. um, the graying mountains of Fremont, and uh, um, you know, rains haven't started, so it's gray. It's, uh, but it'll turn green in a month's time wow. when rains come uh, in January, uh, December, January. Uh, it'll be very green. So yeah, yeah. Uh, what a view! Then, Beautiful view. What's something you still possess from your childhood? My memories of childhood. Uh -huh. so <laughs> the memories are there, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, there are some books from my childhood mm -hmm. that I mm -hmm. did not let go of. Oh and, yes, uh, I had. Are to... these study books? Uh, no, there is <laughs> one. One of them is uh, uh, some kind of a inspirational book um, that my grandmom had given me when I won a prize. Uh, oh, wonderful! Ari Samaj, I told you earlier yes. about. And yeah. being president of Arya Samaj. Yeah. So it was a Amar Chitra Katha mm -hmm. on uh, Swami Vivekananda. Okay. okay. Swami Dayananda found, yeah. founded uh, mm -hmm. Arya Samaj. Yes. That Amar Chitra Katha was on some Swami Vivekananda. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that that I cherish. Great. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 five, six year old when you get something like yeah. that. Yeah. You, uh, it, it it well, it's great to hold on to. I mean, that is something that's, you know, beautiful as well. Um, here's something. What's a data trend that you would like to see disappear? I would want the, again, as I said, uh, the marketeers mm. create FUD in the market. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, that goes for the software market as well as the yeah. data market. And I would yep. want that trend to go away. Mm -hmm. I would want transparency in what people have on the truck right now and mm -hmm. what they're selling and basically come to adopt some open standards which mm -hmm. uh, which we can innovate yeah um, yeah uh, you know, and and a lot of money uh, of the organizations is wasted on uh, these competing efforts yes uh, so i would i would definitely want to get rid of that fud no i i i think that's very uh, sage advice actually I, I mean it's something that is a bugbear of mine but you know the whole marketing machine is too powerful i think what's a superpower you wish you had i wish i could fly i've been thinking <laughs> about it since uh, uh, you have no idea uh, and i told you earlier about how i used to like uh, painting and yes. uh, participated in the yeah. competition yeah yeah. Um, and uh, at that time, I was uh, the theme was your life in the year 2000. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. And this, I'm talking about uh, late 70s, uh -huh. so, you can imagine, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, so it was far enough in the uh future. And I drew and painted something which showed me in a flying saucer, uh huh, and basically equivalent of what drones are today yes yes uh, yes so i mean i held on to the vision i had great discussion with my art and um, drawing teacher as well yeah, as well as yeah. my, uh, school students um, mm -hmm. that how i see world as uh, in the year 2000 yeah but of course drones were not invented by yeah the year but not far off not far off well, you know, yeah, now it's getting commercialized so yes I know that vision is coming true but yeah, yeah. i always wanted to have a solo flight uh, I could take off and uh, go anywhere. Perfect. What's something you don't want to be doing in 10 years? I don't want to be sitting in front of a computer and ah. doing work. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to talk. Yeah. Uh, and we are getting there, the chatbots mm -hmm. and all the uh, other uh, interfaces and the brain mm -hmm. computer interface is mm -hmm. coming as well. So mm -hmm. just the speed of thought. And the it's, speed it's of thinking. thought, yeah. 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 Looking back on, on your life, is there anything you would have done differently? I don't think I would have changed anything. Anything. Whatever yeah. has happened has happened for yep. good mm -hmm. uh, for a reason. And mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy. Best um, way to be, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which movie makes you laugh the hardest? Janabido Yaro is one movie, if uh, you remember from the early 80s, it was a comedy film by 
um, and there were a bunch of comedians there. It, mm -hmm. it made me laugh uh, in in the, that time. And even if you watch the rerun, you'll uh, probably laugh. be the same now. Perfect. If you could teach one school, one subject in either school, college, or university, what would it be? Ethics. Mm -hmm. What's this? It ethics and data, ethics yeah. and AI, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the field I'm in. But mm. That's something which is needed. Yes, and, very uh, much so. Yeah. Foundational for students uh, is to be true to themselves mm -hmm. and to be true to the Mother Earth uh, that mm -hmm. we are born in. So mm -hmm. uh, I would mm -hmm. consider that all as part of ethics. Ethics, yeah. Yep. What's a skill you're currently working on mastering? Investing, I would say. Okay. Um, venture investing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I've mastered, but I've if made... You're still working on it. Perfect. Perfect. Well, you're, you're getting there, right? What three words best describe your leadership style? Three words. Uh, mm. Collaborative, empathetic, and open. What are currently your top three data challenges? Data deluge is, of course, a challenge. Mm -hmm. And finding the right data sets for training the AI models mm -hmm. uh, and and making the uh, making making uh, all the data tie up data quality because yes. the underlying the layer. lineage and the yeah yeah the transparency yep yep true what's the one thing you had to learn the hard way public speaking mm -hmm. and how I do you can't yep. forget how uh, badly i did in my first job when i was put on spot to speak up at a meeting uh, i could barely make eye contact and oh really started. Wow! I could not. You, uh, oh so my you, goodness! You no idea how I felt for wow. ages thinking yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Even today, I get nightmares. Gosh! Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that, you know what? It's it, it it's interesting because I guess it's not everybody's bag. Um, and and I I I've I've met a lot of people who have struggled with it, but who have had to cope and get over it because they're very internal people they're very you know sort of introverted um so i, I i'm i don't know whether you are but i think you know most you know that, i've been an introvert yeah, all my yeah. life i'm a mm. shy person and mm. it takes an effort to connect mm. With mm. Mm. but i have uh, that's something which i've been working on yeah for 40 years, so. well that's great and you broke through it so that, that's amazing um uh, how do you handle pressure in your career Deep breath. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. There are certain yogic exercises that one does. Because uh -huh. I've noticed with age, uh, the blood pressure rises. And, yes. Uh, and especially when you are anticipating a high stakes uh, outcome mm -hmm. of, of mm -hmm. a situation, uh, then you... And the more you prepare, the more stress builds up. So the best way is to use the, yeah, the, breath, the breath. Yeah. power yeah. of breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's certainly definitely from your stomach and upwards, you know, that that's that's the bit which people do very shallow breaths, but very deep breaths are, are the right way to do. It. What's what's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? I notice their smile. Like uh -huh. OK. And that's I've been good. told that I can be very uh, bad about uh, uh, in situations and I don't smile in situations oh. when. I'm feeling tense uh -huh. and I'm in meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm, 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 I'm working on that uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh. And what's something you still like to learn? Oh, there are tons of things. <laughs> uh, I would want to go back and learn more about the history of the world, the economics uh -huh. and the yeah. economy, because that's how it impacts um, the landscape. And I, I would want to learn how not to lose money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all of us would like that. <laughs> to learn that. <laughs> and my final question for you, Piyush, what would you like to be remembered for? I would like to be remembered for how I helped others. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And on that note, Piyush Malik, thank you very much for being on the Data Strategy Show. It's been a real pleasure to 
to talk to you before, during, and I hope we all, you know, we, we get to keep, uh, in, you know, we get to keep in touch and uh, continue our, you know, speaking further. Thank you so much. Thank you, Samir. And I don't know why you call it the 66 show, uh, 66 question. So I think it, it was, uh, uh, I don't know if you calculated the number uh, or not, but uh, it all didn't feel like 66. So yeah, you're right. You it was much. about 66, though. All right. It wonderful. was. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.